over there. Another squirrel. Well, here I am. Yes, here I am in Vancouver in Stanley Park, and I see animals in Stanley Park. Uh, there's about, I've seen three squirrels, two of them have ran away. There's one right there. Oh, it's just there. It's running to the running to the corner of that the building. some poles in Stanley Park. <coughs> I'm I'm looking at I'm looking at the Chief Wucker's pole from top to bottom, Thunderbird, Killer Whale, Wolf, Wise One, Huck Swoo a mythical bird, bear, raven. Chief Wucker's pole. In Kwakwaka Waku Kwaku Tea ceremonies, carved staffs called talking sticks are held by people making important speeches, important speeches on behalf of the chief. This pole represents the talking stick and characters in an Orikana story, be Orikana story belonging to the chief Wakas. The original pole was raised in front of Chief Wakas house in Alert Bay in the 1890s. The Ravens Beak open to form a ceremonial entrance to the house while the raven's body was painted on the house front. Nymphkish artist Doug Cranmer, who has inherited Chief Wucker's crest, carved this new pole in 1987. We are looking at what I believe Canadian geese. Let's take a look. Coastal, the Coastal First Nations. The west coast of British Columbia is home to many distinct native nations. Each has a unique history, language and culture. In earlier times, people lived in villages of large set-up plank houses. The interior house beams and posts were often carved, <coughs> were, were often carved and painted to represent figures in a family's, figures in a family's lineage. In some areas of the coast, carved poles stood in front of the houses or marked grave sites. The figures on totem poles are called crests and are part of a family's inherited rights. The, the, crests, the crests and stories associated with them are considered uh, property owned by First Nations lineage and... Um, the rest of the words are blurred out. Um, um, uh, anyhow, not to worry. We're we're looking at the Canadian geese again. Okay.
previous video shot between 7.30am and 7.56am Vancouver time, 22 August 2012. 8.02am, <coughs> 8.02am, 22 August 2012, 8.02am, 22 August 2012. I'm reading this, uh, reading this thing which reads, which reads, Indian totem poles. <coughs> Indian totem poles. The totem was the British Indian totem poles. Indian totem poles. The totem was the British Columbia Indians' coat of arms. Totem poles are unique to the northwest coast of BC and Lower Alaska. They were carved from Western red cedar, and each and each Western red cedar and each carving tells of each carving tells of a real. Each carving tells of a real or mythical event. Mythical event. They were not idols, nor were they worships. Each carving on each pole has a meaning. Uh, has a meaning. The eagle represents the kingdom of the air. The whale, the lordship of the sea. Of the sea. The wolf, the genius of the land, and the frog, the transitional link between land, between land and sea. <laughs> There's a float plane flying right by. There it is. There's a float plane again. Yes, the float plane again. I've just I've just watched the float plane fly right over uh I just I just watched the float plane fly over the Lionsgate Bridge over there. I'm um, just continuing my walk along Stanley Park, um, around the edge of Stanley Park. Okay. A large, a large number of geese, a large number of geese have, a large number of geese had flown right over me and into the water over there. <coughs> yeah, it's awesome. Hi squirrel. Hi squirrel. Hi squirrel. Hi squirrel. Uh. Bye bye squirrel. Got a video of squirrel at 8.44 a.m. 21 August 2012. 21 August 2012, Vancouver time. Just to make some corrections. Uh, looked at my watch which had Australia time. Okay. I've just caught the bus from the city of Vancouver to Horseshoe Bay. I'm gonna catch I'm gonna catch the ferry from Horseshoe Bay to Langdale. Uh yes I'm gonna catch the ferry from Horseshoe Bay to Langdale. There's a ferry just um uh coming in. Uh, I'm gonna go to Langdale and go to Gibson's. So I'm just gonna get on the ferry now.
I'm king of the world. Top of the world. You know? Yeah. Oh, I want that picture taken. I'll steal a car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, let's check out the Persephone, the boat from the TV show The Beach Combers. Let's check it out. There we go. <coughs> there we go, the Persephone. It's awesome. Here we see a statue of George W. Gibson 1829 to 1913. <coughs> I'm just reading the thing. Uh, yes, I'm just reading the thing. I'm reading the. I am. I'm reading. I'm reading the. I am reading the thing now. George Gibson joined the Royal Navy at age 12. He became a lieutenant and used his stake from the capture of a Spanish ship to emigrate to North America. To North America. He worked on. He worked on the Mississippi River boats before marrying Charlotte Purdy in 1859, and later moved to BC. And later to <coughs> in 1859, and later moved to BC with his family. In 1886, he built a boat and sailed to the Sunshine Coast, where he where he laid claim to land which became known which became known as Gibson's Landing, and in 1947 became the town of Gibson's. Funding for the statue by the town of... Funding for the... <coughs> funding for the statue by the town of Gibson's, the BC Heritage Trust, and in memory of Andy and Tula Maragos for their contributions to the town of Gibson's. Jack K. Harmon, OBC, RCA Sculptor. Well, I hope all of that was awesome for you. 
Now I'm going to sit down and have lunch at Molly's Reach. Awesome. This is awesome, there's a raccoon! There it goes! Raccoon! Alright, that was awesome! Yeah! I'm now... I'm now on the I'm now on the Whistler Bike Park. I'm in the flats areas. Uh, I, I was going to go downhill mountain bike riding, but it's too expensive, so I decided to uh, take this course right here. And there's a skate park just beyond those trees. <coughs> it's awesome. Now, um, I'm going to, I'm going to ride this mountain bike here, and ride this mountain bike here, on there. Now, as you can see, it's got, say, a Fox Float suspension thing, or uh, whatever it's called. It's awesome. I, I always wanted to have this all my life, until now. So, anyhow, I'm now going to be, I'm now going to be riding on that track right over there, so we'll see how we go. Open. Up. Yeah, keep rolling. Yeah, well, I thought that was, that was exciting. Yeah. Yeah. All right, that was awesome. Cut. Here I am standing on the bridge going over Tickamus River. Yeah, this looks awesome. Yes, Chickamus River. Yeah, this looks awesome. <coughs> I'm just on my way to I'm just on my way to go for I'm just on my way to go for a walk in the forest. Um first of all, um this uh there's, there's snow up there on the mountains, yes, snow up there on the mountains, even though it's in the middle of summer. And, um, yeah, yeah, yeah look at the trees. Yeah, it looks awesome. <coughs> there's, there's Chickamas River again, another bridge going over Chickamas River. Now I'm going to go for a walk in the forest, so we'll see how we go. <coughs> I'm I'm going on the forest trail to Tickamas Lake, so we'll, so we'll see so we'll see how we go. Uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. <coughs> um, now let's read this. Tree species. There are <coughs> tree species. There are three major tree species found in this forest. They are Western hem Western hemlock, Suga hetero uh, heterophylla, needles, bark, cone, Western red cedar, Western red cedar, Fuja plicata. 
and <coughs> and Amabilis fur. Amabilis fur. Aves Amabilis. <coughs> <coughs> See if you can see if you can identify them using the needle, bark, and cone descriptions above. <coughs> um, okay, well I'll I'll take I'll take a look at the trees as I walk along. I'm on my way to Loggers Lake to go for a swim. I've got my sunglasses on to protect my eyes from the sun. I've got my hoodie on to... I've got my... <coughs> I've... I have... I have got my hoodie on to prevent the sun from burning the back of my... I've got my... <coughs> I've got my hoodie on to prevent the sun from burning the back of my neck. It's very hot, the temperature's warm, um, but I'll cool myself down as I go along, and if it gets too hot, I'll take it off. I just, uh, I just want to prevent the sun from burning the back of my neck and having my, having, having the, having the back of my neck getting sunburnt. So, um, um, I'm on my way to, I'm on my way, I'm on my way to the lake to go for a swim and cool down, so, We'll see how we go. Yeah, this looks awesome. I've made it to Loggers Lake, which is right behind me. The water is fresh. It smells like a swimming pool. I walked along I walked along the forest trail all the way to Loggers Lake. Along the forest trail I along the forest trail I walked along a suspension bridge. It was awesome. And uh, and I had a go and swing on the rope and letting go and jumping into the lake. It was awesome. So let's take a look at the lake. Uh, yes, I went swimming in the lake, and uh, I'm in my boardies. Uh, yeah, my swimmers, and um, it was awesome. And so uh, we'll just take take a look at the mountains up there. All oh, right, I just caught something. Yeah, there it is. Uh, yeah, that's the swing rope. Okay, it's swallowing now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, that was awesome. Uh, here I am on the rope. Now I'm gonna. Now I'm gonna swing on. Yeah. 
I'm now going back the way I came. I'm going back over the suspension bridge again. Okay, I'm just going to continue back the way I came. David Oppenheimer, 1834 to 1897. 1834 to 1897. Well, lads, 
we hope you've enjoyed this smashing video of Vancouver and Whistler. Yeah, check it out, y'all. Adios, amigos. Thank you, and good night.